and welcome back to another episode of the ND Academy podcast. Today we're going to be talking all things how to break excuses. So hello first of all to anyone listening on Spotify or Apple or whatever it may be. Hello to everyone listening on YouTube. So I suppose the big thing that sparked this is I would have always been an excuse gal or should like I can't do this like there'd be no point in me trying anything like that. Um, you know, always kind of sparking these up and I suppose since just really doing the work on myself over Covid and over the last kind of two to three years, it's kind of like I've just completely switched my mindset on it. So what I want to do now is try help as many people as I can with what I've learned so far um, and hopefully it'll kind of help you then kind of overcome these barrios, bar- barrios and start getting to where you want to be. So first things first and the first thing I want to say is whenever you're not changing, you're choosing and this can be a very tough pill to swallow and if anybody said that to me, Tasha, four years ago, I probably would have punched them straight in the face. But just something to keep in mind because like, this is a good thing because then the only person responsible for your actions are you. So that means you can actually do something about it. Um, so I want you to see this as a huge, huge opportunity for yourself. And sometimes we just want to like, like ignore that. Like we want to put our blinkers on and like forget that we actually choose. Um, and this is an important thing to remember that you do. Um, so whatever you're not changing, you're choosing. Just something to keep in mind. Um, and I suppose the big thing kind of what causes that is emotion. So Emotion is great and it can help us, but sometimes we can be driven so, so much by emotion that it doesn't lead to action. So if we want to try maybe start something new, like for example, sitting foot into the gym for the first time, we we may be walking and we may be like, I don't know, maybe use a machine wrong or something. We'll go home that evening, we'll say to ourselves, why did I bother walking into that gym? Like, I look like such an angel. Like, I, why did I even think I was going to be that sort of person that could go into a gym? Like, that was so stupid of me. And we will just batter ourselves down to the nines. And that's what happens when we're driven with essentially emotion rather than action. Whereas if you saw that and swept your, flipped your perspective on it and said, well, I actually took that first step. I actually physically walked into a gym. How unreal is that? I might be where I want to be now, but imagine if I just stayed going with those small steps um, and stayed working on those. Imagine where I'd be in a year from now. So it's just important. Emotion is great and it can help, but if we're completely driven by emotion, we're probably going to just batter ourselves down to the absolute nine. Next thing then, so if we're kind of battling ourselves with emotion, we're not really going to have much of a vision because we're constantly thinking about I suppose everything that's going wrong and it is very very important to have a vision because like that if you're just sitting foot into the gym and you're not really like sure what your vision is like in a year from now with the gym like where you want to be do you want to be a person that's like you know really really into it might maybe get into a certain specific type of training or there's something you're working towards or is it a case that you just like want to get comfortable walking into a gym doing your workout enjoying it heading home again not having to worry about feeling you know, uncomfortable walking in, like figure out what your actual vision is because it's the build up of you doing this each and every time um, that's going to get you to where you want to be and like that if you've no vision, if you're not clear on like where you want to go with this and where it's actually going and why you're putting yourself into these uncomfortable situations, it's a very, very hard thing to keep going with. So big thing to ask yourself is like where you want to see yourself in 12 months from now and just getting clear with your vision on it and this doesn't have to be as specific as you possibly can this can be something just so simple of I just want to move in the direction where I just feel comfortable going into gym like I hope in 12 months time if I keep this going consistently it it is going to get me to to where I want to be so do really start thinking about visions it's the same with like a dieting phase it's the same with career choices like have some form of a vision where you're going because it's going to help you stay clear on why you're kind of you know putting yourself in these uncomfortable positions that are eventually going to become comfortable and you realize that they're they're all actually going to to pay off and the next thing that comes with that is doing things with intention so essentially what we can do is we can live life and the best way to describe this is we're on a boat 
and we're just letting the boat take us to to where we want to be. We're we're not taking control, we're not taking any direction and we're just like, oh like how did I end up here? Why did I end up here? And it's because we didn't grab the oars and actually take control of where we want to go in the direction we want to go on. And it's like as well hopping in a car and just driving and having no clear direction, no vision in where you actually want to go and do you know like what does that actually do for us? What how does that even help us? So anything you're doing, you're doing with in intention because it's the build up of doing things over time that's going to get you to where you want to be rather than doing it once. Like going into the gym once isn't going to change feck all. But if you go in with the intention of, yeah, me doing this session and, you know, putting my all into it, if I can do this collectively in a year from now, imagine where I'm going to be. And then you're, you're going in with that intention rather than, oh, another gym session. And like the weeks are just kind of flying by into the gym out, into the gym out. We're not doing anything with any form of intention and it's important to keep intention with every single thing that you're doing it's like for example maybe you're in a job that you don't really enjoy or you don't see yourself in long term and that's another thing to think about is like do you want to be in that same job 12 months from now and there's nothing wrong with doing it now um but doing it with the intention of i know if i just do stay in this job for now i'm eventually going to to get to where i want to be so i'm doing it with intention because i know maybe I'm no longer going to be here or maybe you're going for a like, promotion or whatever it may be. So it's like me, for example, when I was in my old job, like I knew in my heart and soul I did not want to be there um, for life like that. I just knew in my heart and soul that wasn't for me. But I went in with the intention of knowing that I was going to get to where I want to be. And how I done that was I was doing my courses on the side. So I was going into work with the intention of this job has helped me get the money to be able to pay for my courses. I know by going in and just kind of going in doing my bit, I'm eventually going to get to where I want to be. And it's important to have that direction because sometimes we can just get caught in the zone of, oh my God, like I'm dreading work, I just don't want to go in, I just want to quit. But like have intention, have that vision there um, of where you want to go. And same thing applies with the gym, same thing applies with a weight loss phase. You need a vision, you need to be doing every single, you need to be doing something every single day with intention so that you know exactly where it's going. And what's going to help you with your vision and with your intention is your routine, your habits and your schedule. Because if you want to get somewhere and you're just going through the motions of a day and you're not actually doing anything that's specifically going to help you get to where you want to be. But all you do is kind of talk about it but never actually do anything on it or you don't have any routine that's going to help you get to your, where you want to be. You're not going to magically land in it one day, you know. Um, example when I started talking on my stories like there was never this perfect day going to come where I was going to be able to like hop on my um, phone with pure confidence and chill and chat away like that day was never going to come until I done it real awkwardly you know um, went through all the uncomfortableness of trying it for the first time and it's sounding awful it looking awful uh, because my face was covered in filters because I was trying to hide so much but the fact that I like I made myself do that once a week, every week I'd come on uh, chatting on my stories and I'd do it like every like two days a week and I stayed building up on it and I made a routine and a structure that made sure that I could work on that because I had a vision, I had an intention of why I was doing it. I really wasn't enjoying it at the moment, but the fact I had it uh, scheduled into my week, I had no choice but to do it rather than me kind of going through the weeks, letting them pass, I'm like, oh yeah, I really want to get going with talking on my story now. And I never do anything about it because I don't have any routine there, I don't have any um, sh schedule there. And like, sometimes we, like, we can get caught in that trap of like waiting for this perfect time when we have loads of free time, like a, a weight loss journey. Um, and like you're better off just fitting it into your schedule as is. Doesn't matter how busy it is. Like if you can start implementing things now, doesn't matter how small, doesn't matter how how big. Um, just start adding things in. And like I know, like obviously some people they have really really busy jobs. They they are really really busy with their kids. But at the same time, like looking at it from this perspective, like if that was your child in your situation and they had a really busy job and they are really busy with their kids imagine you could prove to them that it's possible do you know imagine you start factoring in the small things that you could do to get to where you want to be even though life is so hectic so that you can turn around when they come to you and be like oh i don't have the time i just won't be able to fit that in there's so much going on i'd love to do it but i'm not going to get a chance and you could say to them well look i did it things were really busy and 
you know, I had you when you were younger and I had a really, really busy job and this is where I wanted to go and this is how I did it and this is how I built my routine and my schedule and I'd done small little things and mightn't have, maybe there's other people who like don't have kids and don't have busy job who might have more time, but that shouldn't stop you from getting where you want to be and fitting into your routine and what you want to achieve and, you know, realising that it's all, it's all going to, to pay off. Um, so I think that's just a really, really nice way of kind of thinking about it. Next thing then is action. Absolutely nothing is going to happen until you actually do something. You know, sometimes we can get it into our heads that if we sit and, and I do this myself, we'll sit and look at TikTok and like you look at all these kind of motivational videos and you, you look at different things and you're maybe feeling a little bit inspired, but that just wears off. Like that does not last. You're better off putting your phone away, having a bit of creative time for yourself thinking about what you want to do like nobody else is living your life only you and only you can find your best direction for it yeah reaching out for help is going to help because they're going to help you fit it into your routine and your life and that's from you taking action to maybe decide and sit down we can be like okay when i clear away all the lies i actually need help with this i need someone who's going to be able to help me and you're sitting and thinking for yourself you're creating what you want and where you want to go um, so yeah, you, you cannot work on yourself until you actually do something to show yourself that you're, you're building this trust and you're building belief with yourself. Nothing is going to happen until you actually physically do something. You can write, write it down, you can talk about it, but until you actually show yourself that you're physically getting up to do something that's in line with where you want to go, the more you start doing that, the more you want to do more of it. It'll, it'll start like becoming this thing that you build on. Um, so yeah, main thing is you create what you want, you actually take some form of action with it. It is absolutely no good to think about it every so often, but never actually physically do some. It's like starting a weight loss journey, like your best thing is maybe getting up and doing a food shop or getting up and going for a ten minute, five to ten minute walk. It's that small action, that first small thing. And it, when you start doing things and you start feeling good about it, you want to do more of those things. Like when does anyone feel inspired when they're just sitting on the couch feeling lazy, just watching Netflix, you know? No, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with sitting and doing that. But you, you'd never really feel inspired when you're doing something like that. You feel relaxed, you feel calm. So you need to change your physiology. You need to get up and physically do something um, for whatever it is you're looking to do. Um, because... Same thing as well, like when we look at watching Netflix or anything, or when we look at going on our phone, it's usually a distraction, do you know? It's usually a distraction from everyday life. Usually when we're feeling like insecure and down, it's just easier to just hide away and just like stay scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. So we never feel like we're in a position to go and achieve something if we're kind of just stuck in that position where our shoulders down, crouched down, just scrolling away on a phone. And it's important, like you can, talk about anything all day long but until you actually physically get up and build that trust with yourself you will never get anywhere so yeah that's just something to think about kind of if i was kind of summarize it up in a few steps vision get clear like have a think about it like look at your job now like are you happy in it now do you see yourself there in 12 months time is there anywhere else you'd like to be um, maybe you're happy there and that's absolutely fine. Look at yourself, your body, your mental health. Do you want those to be in the same position 12 months from now? Because they're not going to change unless you physically do something. From there then, of course, it is hard to kind of do things like if it is, say, weight loss and get used to going to the gym and stuff. Do everything with intention because it's the collective habit of doing something that's going to get you where you want to be towards one session. So doing everything with intention, keeping in mind why it's all going to pay off your routine, your habits, your schedule, it's going to make things so much more easier. It doesn't matter how busy or how little time we have, if we can fit in to do something, because something is better than nothing that's going to bring you in the right direction. Action, action is going to be the most important thing you ever do, because you cannot work on yourself unless you actually physically do something to show it to yourself that you are moving in that direction. Um, so yeah, that's kind of everything summed up in a nutshell and I just want to finish up with one question because at the end of the day everybody will decide I'm going to start that now on Monday I'm going to start that now tomorrow and like I actually just genuinely want you to do something today I don't care